All right, boys, well, thank you very much. the Night Watchman, the People's Cricket Show. I'm Carl Pfeiffer, here with my fellow hosts Marcus Burns and Daniel Vogt, and we are gearing up for the first test this Thursday, boys. Now, there's Woo! been a lot of uh, build-up, a lot of hype to this test. Um, a bit of it surrounding Ricky Ponting's controversial book, Marcus. Yes, well, I've read about half of this book, and uh, <laughs> it, is, it is a good book, boys, and he's very honest. Ricky is very honest. Tell us it like it is. He's That's just it. telling you how like it is. That, uh, it's like it's cricket. It's, it's, been, well, it's been blown out of proportion, for sure, all the stuff going on in the media. So, yeah. Look, Warney, I mean, Warney got, got all up in arms because he had a bit of a go at his boy, Clarky. Yes. Yes. And, um, I mean, Shane, come precious on, he calls him. Shane, I mean, he loves, he loves his opinion out there for everyone to hear, doesn't he? Yeah. Stop being a dickhead, Shane. <laughs> it's pretty yes, simple. Well. Now, speaking of Shane, yeah, I think we've got him up front. We've got him up the front. No, he's got a diet. Cigarette. Yeah. Cigarette? Can Shane? Can we get a lip for him? You need a light there, do you, Wardy? Shane? Can we get back? Oh, there we go. There he is. Thanks, Shane. Thank you, Thank you. There you go, Shane. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dickie D. Thanks, Dickie. He's back. So I've uh, actually got a tweet for Ricky. Oh, oh yeah, you do. Just, just Ricky. on his book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, of course. The controversial book. Is <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, me and Stephen just head around to Wardy's house with a couple dozen eggs and a bag. Hashtag a bag of dog shit. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag and a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Shane, so, I mean, sorry, Ricky, it looks like you've got that under control. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, good you and Stephen, <laughs> you and Stephen Moore have uh, taken yes. the criticism from Shane <laughs> in their stride. <laughs> Literally. But, uh, boys, I suppose Wardy does make some good points sometimes, and one of them was uh, recently came out and uh, said Alistair Cook's captaincy was boring and negative. He certainly did, and this is one one thing that we totally agree with Shane on. And um, just on that, I got a bit of mail earlier that um, when the English side were uh, about to board the plane, apparently Captain Cook refused the original itinerary. Um, it was, it, was with, it just happened to be with Air Ethiopia. But I'm not sure why. But, um, sounds he, risky. He demands <laughs> yeah, sounds yeah, risky. <laughs> But he demanded to fly off Qantas because of their outstanding safety record. And I think it's a really good insight into the like ultra conservative psyche that the current England team are running with at the moment. So, what do you reckon? I mean, well, definitely. definitely. <laughs> it was, it was, there was risk involved, you know, it's a better play, safe play out the draw, you know. Yeah, no. Go with Qantas. Good on you. Go. Yeah. Yes. Alright, there's a number of things that, that uh, we're looking forward to happening during this upcoming Ashes series. Uh, Marcus, what are you looking forward well, to? Well, obviously the whole test series are the first test, but I'm particularly looking forward to uh, little Joe Ray getting kicked out of Baby his country. Bash, <laughs> <laughs> when, they, yeah, when they find out yeah, his, uh, his passports are fake and he's actually only 12 years old. <laughs> 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 he does have a very youthful uh, appearance. Uh, well, that would rub someone into the wound. Just after you got kicked out of the uh, army banning spot. Yeah. Very <laughs> true, very true. You'll probably be going home in tears to Bubby. Exactly. To Bubby Root. To Bubby Root. To Bubby Root. To Bubby Root. What I'm looking forward to, boys, is um, England bowling first. 
at the GABA, yeah. and a repeat of the grievous bodily harmisons. First delivery of the series. I reckon it's uh, straight to second slip. I reckon it's about to flash up now. The first ball, the first test match. Whoa, wide delivery taken and slipped by the skipper. The nerves are showing already. Oh, oh my God. what a delivery. <laughs> 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 oh yeah. Yep. Uh, so that is it. Oh, just just yeah. more of that thing. Oh, what, are you, what are you looking forward to? Mate? Well, I'm also hoping uh, a good ball first. I'm hoping Alistair Cook can channel his inner NASA Hussein <laughs> ball first to get smashed around. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? 1400? Yeah, yeah, something like that. that. <laughs> but you know what? Like, you know what I admire about NASA? He had the dignity to admit the fact. And he stuffed up. <laughs> <laughs> he came up and said it, and it was quite funny. Well, good idea. All right, now I'm right. 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 for that. Uh, and viewers. Fans and viewers. viewers. Now, Carl has spent the last few months locked in his room. <laughs> no one has talked to him. He's I been brooding him. with hatred for one bed, and he needs to get it out. <laughs> Carl, what is going on? You got the floor. God damn, Stuart. <laughs> Stuart, I hate you so much. <laughs> um, I'm just here to say a damn warning, Stuart. Ooh. A deathly warning. And a call to arms to the rest of the Australian supporters oh, during this series. Everyone, give it to Stuart. Give him hell and bag the shit out You're of him. You're gonna fucking cop it, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he deserves it. Every time, saying, he, every time he tries uh, the shoe gate, throw a shoe at him. Yes, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yes he deserves to have plenty of shoes thrown at him. All I can say is it's in your best interest not to walk, Stuart, <laughs> because as soon as you get off that oval, you're going to get a fucking shit beaten out of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Enough with the Australian thuggery. <laughs> Uh, uh, hey, hy hypothetically, of course, Stuart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. hypothetically. Yeah, exactly. so, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're we'll just, we'll just saying I mean, it could happen. I mean, I don't think there's a possibility that we could get access to it. Well, no. is that? Right. We, well, well, we'll, we'll discuss, discuss that off air, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's uh, look ahead to the, uh, the Australian team for this uh, Gabba test. Yeah, now, boys. Warner. Davy, our boy, little Davy. Davey. Davey. Boy. Yeah. Looks like he's going to be back in the opening position after his current run of good form, but uh, I think he owes it all to his new girlfriend, uh, Candice Falzone. Uh, oh, the Iron Woman. Iron Woman. Iron Woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, par apparently she's helping him with his change his habits and with his training. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah so, right. good woman. Yeah, yeah. and uh, he has discovered that getting up at five a.m. instead of getting home pissed of ass <laughs> actually works. <laughs> oh. He's making runs! He's making runs! It helps, <laughs> helps you be a better international cricketer, <laughs> elite sporting <laughs> profession, <laughs> and it helps. So there's yeah. been some major breakthroughs there. Who would have thought, Davey? Who would have thought, mate? Yeah. 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 This, is, I mean, this can only mean good things for Australian cricket, can't it? Yes. Oh, well, it can. Yeah. So yeah. there's the uh, openers, and obviously, Rogers, yeah, Watson Rogers. and Clark uh, both fit, they fill the third and fourth spots. Yeah, yep, yeah. 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 absolutely. Stevie Smith's in his spot at five, but we want to get on to number six. The much talked about number six position, yes. and it appears as though. Our boy, well, not Marcus, it's not my boy. <laughs> my daddy's boy, George Leadership Baby. Yeah. Well, well I, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Leadership has been knocking down the door for a number of years with his outstanding um, form in, when it comes to leadership. Now, I'm not sure how the Australian selectors have managed to quantify how, how effective his leadership is, but I mean, obviously he's been doing good things. He's been posting good scores. Well, as simple as that. If you have a look, uh, viewers, these are our leadership's last 10 Sheffield Shield scores. Oh, yeah. And um, they make for some compelling viewing points. <laughs> I mean, it's got, you wouldn't but, say well, outstanding form. No. But you, you have run. some stats that you But know. if you now run your eyes over these leaderships, stats. his leadership abilities over the last two years in a percentage form, you can see. <laughs> That those numbers, they, they sound pick me. Okay. Uh, 
God damn, he's a good leader. He's been some strong leadership in those matches. I mean, it's just glowing. It's glowing from him, isn't it? And he oozes leadership. He oozes. I mean, doesn't matter he doesn't have an offside shot. He can only play straight down the ground and the leg side, which is all very good one does. But in test matches, the bowlers will be a bit more consistent. But that doesn't matter. Does He's a good leader. Well, the slip is quite obvious. It's quite obvious to you, boys. But no offside shot is equaled. This is the logic you, that the selectors are running yeah. with. So that to tell you the truth, uh, I just want to talk about uh, Marcus Burns' uh, okay. six to ten year plan to get picked, <laughs> to get picked in the Australian team. <laughs> so it's not going to happen overnight. And, and it all starts on Thursday night at the local cricket club. <laughs> I'm going to go out there, show up, display a bit of leadership. <laughs> And, uh, and put it to practice on, on the B grade field on, on Saturday and slowly work my way up. And in six to ten years, I should plenty of good leadership. Oh, well, of course. Uh, obviously. That's all you have to be good at. You I should be selected. Guys. You've got a great template in George Bailey. Yes, well, you do. And leadership is to you because you're a goddamn good leader. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on to the bowlers, boys. Yes. Well, Brad Hunt's going to get picked. I mean, God, he's is. Six, seven. Uh, he's a way better fucking player than Matty Wade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's not looking good for the keeping stacks of show. Right, we'll, no. we'll move on. We'll move on to 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 quite a uh, well, it's a talking point. Mitchell Johnson. He's a polarizing character. Yes, well, <laughs> reluctantly, Australia. Uh, Everyone else is pretty much down, so we've had to put him in. <laughs> Injuries. I'm not quite yes. sure how it's going to go, although I do know he will bowl all over the place. <laughs> but <laughs> if he can guarantee. bowl some good wicket-taking balls, yes. we seem to accept that, you know, we're happy with that. I don't, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. I'm, I don't know what's The Barmy going Army are going to get bloody stuck in the wind. I mean, anything yeah, else. They'll be all over it. They yeah. will. Um, what were we... Someone, Cole had a bit of a point on Mitch, uh, someone's... Oh, well, we're sort of the radio today, yeah. and um, the great Andrew Jarman, right. uh, the well-renowned sporting... Um, <laughs> yeah, he just knows a lot about sports. Opinion, he's Jarman. got this. He's got some strong opinions, and he predicted Johnson was going to dominate the series and take a lot of wickets. Well, he, he also predicted he could coach West Perth, but he couldn't, <laughs> as they finished bottom at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> And I think over the years of listening to um, Andrew Jones' opinions and contrast them with my brother Leighton Vogt's opinions. <laughs> and there's a picture there's of Leighton viewers. <laughs> Single ladies, if you're out there, have a look at this man. There's, a, there's quite a... There's, you know, they're similar. They're similar. They're similar. They're similar. They're similar. They're similar. And, and there's another similarity. They're always wrong. 100% the time. <laughs> so, yeah. John Howard was, well, not. Okay, that's a warm up. So, he can't bowl, but I hear he's a good catch. No, wrong again.